Hey everyone, welcome back to Operation Trade Front. I wanted to record this quick video, no editing, no nothing. I'm outside, I'm a little bit overexposed back here. Uh, sorry if there's a lot of sound, the waterfall in the background there on the pool um, makes a little bit of sound and the wind's blowing a little bit as well. So I'm trying to sit this way to block the wind. But I just wanted to make this real quick video about AMC. There's a lot of information about AMC right now, a lot of videos about AMC, and a lot of people trading AMC. And there's a lot of good that can come from this with amc but i did just want to touch on it real quick because a lot of people uh that i've spoke with have been hey what's the deal with amc what's the you know what should i do what's the price target and all of that and as far as i see it fundamentals and technicals are out the door you can use the technicals a little bit uh for different spots here and there but as far as overall we're in, we're in uncharted territory for the short squeeze and everything so there's a lot that's going to go into play with these numbers based on things like amc wanting to offer uh, the 25 million new shares that aren't until next year and all that so there's a lot at play so i just wanted to touch on based on what i'm going to do and i am not holding a lot of shares but i do have some so based on my buy-in my cost gosh i wish i had it way back from last year when it was two dollars a share uh but based on what i'm doing I just figured this would be a good way to portray it to everybody else. So let's say, for example, you're in at $15 and you have 10 shares, just for easy numbers, it's 150 bucks. So you're in at 10 shares at $15, you're invested 150 bucks. If the stock runs to 150 bucks, you could sell one share and let the rest ride. You've locked in your, you're not locking any profit by selling at one share you're only locking in your cost. So now you're playing with the house's money. You've got all your initial investment back. If the rest of the shares go to 500, 1,000, some say 100,000, whatever they go to, you then have all of that profit and your downside is protected because you've locked in what you put out to buy the shares in the first place. Now, could you share sell two shares? Sure, then you're locking in 100% profit because you invested 150 bucks, you sell two shares, you're profiting 150 bucks. If the rest of your eight shares go to zero, you're still profiting 100% off the play. So if you hodl until it goes to zero, you're gonna lose everything. If you hodl till it goes to a thousand, you sell all your shares, you're gonna make a killing. What I'm telling everybody to do, and obviously I can't tell anybody what to do, it's not financial advice, it's just what I would, advise people do if i was an advisor i'm not this is not financial advice it's educational purposes only entertainment purposes only but what i would recommend to do is to set your parameters of what you want to take profit at certain levels and do it based off of that if it's at 50 dollars a share if it's at 75 dollars a share 100 150 whatever it is you want to sell two shares at 75 dollars a share to make your money back two shares at 100 dollars a share whatever that that layout looks like for you is what you need to do in order to make yourself be able to sleep at night when the markets open up monday and they run to a hundred dollars do whatever you're going to do if they drop to twenty dollars do whatever you're going to do but have a plan you've got all weekend this is you know it's what time is it right now it's 250 on saturday right now so you've got until monday morning uh, or even Monday day, depending on how the market goes, to make your decision on what you're gonna do. We don't know what the, what the stock's gonna do. There are the shorts that are covering, there's the shorts that are standing out. Some people are gonna sell their shares, some people are gonna hold their shares. The choice is yours. And I, I see a lot of people out there saying, hold for me and I'll hold for you. We're all behind computers. Nobody's gonna know what you're doing. You could say all day long, I'm holding every share I've got until it gets to 100,000. All in a while, you're dumping two or three shares here, or four or five shares there. It's not all of that's not gonna make a huge difference. It's when everybody tries to sell at once and everybody picks, picks these nice round numbers and they're like, I'm selling at $100, I'm selling at $200. Wow, that wind just changed on me. Um, whatever, uh, uh, we'll just sit over here. Uh, whatever number you choose to sell at is what you choose to sell at. And the apes sticking together is a good cause. If everybody sells all at once, then the price is gonna drop because of supply and demand. But if everybody holds out for those higher numbers, then you know the numbers are gonna go up. But you cannot depend on everybody else to hold up their end of the bargain, we'll say. So as, as the trades go, when you hit certain levels, 
for your investment, cash out. Take off a certain number of shares off the table. It's just like any other investment. You want to make sure you you lock in some profits. Don't hold out for the long haul and have a cut where if it if it does drop so far, like say you're in at 15 and it drops to 10, you know you're like okay that's enough for me. I'm down like 33 percent. I'm just going to go ahead and cut my shares. You know have that percentage drop that built in that that you want. Now if you're one of those people that already got in at 60 and you're down. That's a tough decision for you to make at that point uh, on whether you want to cut it now or, or if it drops to 30 or whatever. But like I said, you have to have that decision in place. You have to have that line in the sand that you've drawn in order to be able to, to either cut your losses or take your profits. And with that, there's tons of videos out there that are giving out information about the AMC, the short squeeze and everything. I suggest you go watch as much as you can, learn as much as you can and know what you're investing in. And I just, I hope that it does go to a 1,000, 5,000, 10,000, 100,000. I hope we all make a killing off of it. I just wanna make sure that everybody understands there's got, you've gotta have those price targets and those stops in place of where you're gonna sell, whether it goes up or down. And don't be like, oh, well, you know, such and such is holding, so I'm going to, or such and such is holding, so I'm going to. You've gotta make those decisions based on yourself because it is your financial future. It's your money at stake. So make sure that you do what's best for you along the way as well. And uh, with that, I hope everyone has a wonderful trading day, a wonderful weekend, and I'll see you soon with another video.